Hey peeps, <laughs> welcome to another IC2 mailbox video. Um, as you can see, this is the first mailbox Monday to take place in the refurbished, redecorated dining room that's cost a fortune and taken an entire summer. Um, you can clearly see that we're running a professional operation here, which is why we have random pairs of socks and elastic band balls and weird Lego creatures all over the place. Ah, apologies for that. <laughs> Right, okay, the mail situation just got so, like, overwhelming that I basically just had to whack it all into a load of boxes and it fills four boxes. Here's a box of mail. Let's have a look. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I can't just literally grab something and then put it in shot because some of these parcels have people's addresses on and stuff where they've come from. So I had to go through stuff, pre-select it, use some post-it notes, get the addresses covered up, and then uh, we're good to go. So once again, we've got seven items. One, two, look at that. That's, I don't, I don't think that's come from space. I think that's not even anywhere on earth. It's got about a billion stamps on it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and that makes seven. Okay, so let's just do a quick checklist. Something to open all the parcels with. Caffeine <laughs> to keep me going. And then of course the parcels themselves. So um, now, actually I do know a little story about these two. These have come from my very good friends George and Mel, um, Melissa. Um, they both uh, they both live together up in Scotland. They're really really lovely people, wonderful people. I met them at um, oh gosh what was it now? Was it Railfest? No, not Railfest. Uh, gosh the um, the Model Railway Show in Glasgow. Um, yeah, like the big exhibition thing. I met them there, and they are genuinely such lovely people. Well, you know, the hobby attracts lovely people, so what do you expect? But <laughs> they're like a level above that, they're, they're just absolutely lovely. And they sent these to me months ago, like literally months and months and months ago. And they were messaging me on Facebook like, please open them, let us know what you think. They're just little things that we saw, and we thought that you'd find them cool. So, um, George and Mel, well, I'm pretty sure that she just prefers to be called Melissa, but yeah, George and Melissa, I am here. I'm about to open your parcels, so thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open this huge big thing first. Um, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's like a FedEx package or something. I have, I honestly have no idea what this is. This is not staged. I genuinely do not have a clue what this is. Um, it smells nice, that's for sure. Uh, is there anything else? Oh yeah, there's a little note. Um, oh, it's just a, yeah, it's literally just a note. Don't worry, no addresses. We're safe. We're good to go. Uh, for you, Will, couldn't fit, uh, sorry, is that couldn't something and, oh, couldn't fit this with the mug or something. So I think they've sent me a mug. Um, <laughs> lol, George and Melissa. Oh, they're such lovely people. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to go up there and see them again. And... Oh, of course! Ah, yes! <laughs> oh, I know, I couldn't make it. Um, it's so crazy, but this, this year was the 50th anniversary of this show, Model Rail Scotland. And I was there for the 49th year. And I went and missed the, the major one. Ah, oh, what a drip. Um, basically, it's, my, it's totally my own fault. I should have gone to this. I should have been there. But I I delayed for so long because I had so much on. Uh, I never got the train tickets sorted in time. I never got anything sorted in time. And by the time it was time to do it, it was too late. It was too expensive. I just couldn't do it. So I feel really bad about that. Um, but yeah, it's, oh, it's so cool though. Because basically what George and Melissa have done is they've gotten hold of the actual... Um, well, what do you call it? It's not a brochure, it's not a catalogue, it's sort of a programme! <laughs> They've basically got hold, it's like a theatre production. They've got hold of the programme for me and sent it down so I can... So it's like I was, so it's like I was there. So it might be nine months later or whatever, but um, 
well, that's my fault. It's not, it's not uh, George and Melissa's fault. It's my fault. But yeah, I can actually see all of the uh, layouts that were on display and oh, that's beautiful. Do you know, I'm going to go, it's like, I'm going to go into town and grab a coffee or something one day and just sit down and proper enjoy that. Thank you so much for sending me that. That's really, really thoughtful. Uh, okay, let's see what this says. Wow, look at that handwriting. That's so posh. Gosh, you should see, you should see my handwriting. It's like hieroglyphics. It's basically unreadable. It's illegible is the posh word to use. Thank you. Uh, hey Will, sorry you couldn't make it to Model Rail Scotland this year, but we thought we'd pick you up a little something since it was the 50th show. Hope all went well with you and hope all is well with you and Craig and thanks again for Melissa's mug. <laughs> um hope to meet up soon, George and Melissa. Oh, that's so lovely. Um yes, I I did uh send Melissa a mug for her birthday uh, at an earlier point this year. And they've it's like, it seems like they've returned the the favour and oh gosh, the pen as well. Look at this. Model Rail Scotland. <laughs> I can add that to my collection, and go on then, what is the mug? Is it a special 50th anniversary one or something? Oh, there's something else. We've got a, okay, we've got a key ring as well, and, ah, oh, look at that, how cool, <laughs> awesome. I've just actually broken a few mugs as well, so don't, don't, don't panic. I won't do that to this one, I promise, but um, ace, I've got another coffee mug. <laughs> oh, thank you, George and Melissa, so much. Mwah. Okay, so carrying on, this is airmail. I don't know where it's come from. Uh, literally could be, oh, the United States. I think it's come from the United States. And interestingly, I did notice earlier that, yes, this one has come from South Africa. Don't worry, I won't probably attempt to ever do an accent again, but South Africa, wow. Um, we don't get very much mail from South Africa, but this, this has come from the United States, so, uh, I'll just, I, I've, I've lost my proper letter opener, um, with all the de redecorating and stuff in the dining room. I have actually misplaced my, um, so I'm gonna have to be very careful, obviously, because this isn't really the correct thing to do it with. There we go. But it has... It has done a good job, so, yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're good to go. Address is covered up, everything's safe. Right, August 25th, 2015. So, it's literally over a year old. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Julian. <laughs> but I promise, now that the de decorating is done and stuff, it should be fine. Uh, right, dear IC2, my name is Julian Briggs. I'm 15 and I live in Baltimore County, Maryland, in the USA, of course. I have been a huge fan of your channel for years. I remember the first video I saw of yours was a HST in BR Blue livery. Oh gosh, I think that's one of the first videos I ever did. Soon after, I had watched all of your videos and one train stood out to me in particular, the Virgin Trains Pendolino. My fascination with the train eventually led to my purchase of my first British train set, the Pendolino in Alston livery. Ah, oh, very nice. I currently only have a small layout and it's based in the north of the West Coast Main Line near Carlisle. However, I'm planning on building a more permanent one in the near future. I just need to find a place for it. I used to have a HO scale layout from all of my American trains, but however, they have taken a back seat since the British trains took over. Oh, the British have invaded again, have they? 300 years later, but... <laughs> um, I have an ever-increasing fleet, and I currently own a Class 08, a 37, a 47, a 92, a 350, and a 150, a Sentinel Shunter, and a Pendolino. Gosh, wow Julian, you've done incredibly well. As for Steam Locos, I have a J83, a TTS Sound Duke of Gloucester, a Mallard, because every British layout needs one, and, but I do not have a Black 5, but don't worry, I'll be trying to fix that as soon as possible. And so you should. I, I mean, I'm not President or Prime Minister yet, but if I was, it would be the law that everybody has to have a Black 5. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, your channel also gave me inspiration to start my own YouTube channel. Uh, JB Train Man. Okay, I'll put the link below and I'll check it out. A couple of years ago, I now post spotting videos from all over. I, visited Her I visit Heritage Railways. I make videos of my model railway. I have 120 subscribers, 
but I'll probably have many more by the time you get this letter. <laughs> oh, once again, thank you for being such a cool guy and an inspiration to me. Um, thanks for reading this letter. Keep up the great work, Julian. P.S. I'm not an artist, but I hope you enjoy the drawings. Uh, I don't need to show you the second page, it's basically his contact details. So, yes, this is drawing number one. So we have um, a Southern Railway Battle of Britain class. Uh, Black Moor Vale, it's called. There you go, if you can just see that. That's really quite accurate, actually. Uh, they, they are a sort of like aerodynamic steam train, to be honest. Well, sort of, you know what I mean. They've got like the most aerodynamic smoke deflectors I've, I've ever seen, basically. And then there's an LNER B12. Oh, the B12 is so smart. Um, and there you go, that's his drawing of the B12. Julian, you've got that pretty much spot on. Basically, a B12 is just full of straight lines everywhere. It's such a neat looking steam locomotive. And you've perfectly recreated that. Well done. Very, very nice indeed. So I shall get those filed away. Thank you very much for sending them in. You did give me your details, so I will get a postcard and a badge sent across that big load of water we call the Atlantic. Ah, quick swig of coffee, and we're good to go. Right, what's next? Um, oh, sorry, envelope was collapsing, needed to tape to reinforce. <laughs> uh, yes, interestingly, I think we've got a pen. I think this is a pen. Definitely a pen. So, uh, gosh, yes, um, it's going to be quite tricky to get into, actually. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing else. So, yeah, we cool. We have another pen. We have a Virgin Trains pen. Hmm. Where did, where did this person get that from? Um, okay, well, I was actually going to get all of the details and stuff co covered up, but uh, this person has already done it. How cool is this? Um, oh, it's somebody called Tom. And they have already covered up their address. Ah. I love it. Well done. <laughs> right. To Will. Slash. I see two. Hello, my name is Tom. I am 14, although he's probably 15, 16, or even 34 with kids by now. I will start by saying that I do not actually have a layout. Mainly because of a lack of space uh, but and money. But money is also a factor. Um, I recently bought a new camera with two lenses. Wow. That must have cost a bit. I mainly focus on railway photography and travelling to get to, on different types of trains. I have been to London twice this year and plan on going to Scotland soon. Anyway, I digress. Your videos on models and your layout, they are, they are funny and entertaining. Watching your layout makes up for not having my own. That's so cool. I had a crack at drawing, um, which is not my forte, however. Uh, find and close a drawing of a Class 390 Pendolino. Here we go. Tom. That's actually pretty awesome. Um, it is a little bit sort of abstract, to be honest, because we can't see any wheels or undercarriage or anything like that. But I, I get what you're doing there. It looks really cool, and the colour is fantastic. It's In fact, it's kind of like a logo, to be honest. Um, one of my friends has just got a job with Virgin, and he basically does lots of design stuff. He'll know who he is. He's probably blushing right now. But I'm sure he would be impressed with that too. So well done, Tom. That's really good. Um, he says it's in like it's not even in proportion and stuff. Don't worry, it looks it looks awesome. It took me a while, and I'm quite fond of it. Anyway, I've also set up a couple of sent a couple of goodies to enjoy. So keep making excellent content. Yes, you have. You've sent a pen. Um, I don't think you sent anything else though. I don't think so. Mm, nope. I think that's it. I think it's just a pen. Um, Please, could you send me a postcard, please? Thanks in advance, Tom. Uh, Tom. PPS, I would love it if you could check out my Twitter and YouTube. And Tom has put his Twitter account and YouTube account just to the right. So I'll put, again, as usual, I'll put the details below. Wow. Ah, oh, so sorry, Tom. It took me ages to open this and reply to you. But thank you so much for sending it. I'll add the pen to my collection. And that is really, really good of you. Really cool. Yes, you'll definitely get a postcard and badge. Ah, <laughs> oh, the coffee's ended. Oh, that always happens. Everything ends. Everything runs out. It's just a fact of life. Anyway. Okay. Wow. South Africa. 
This has come all the way from South Africa. That's just amazing. I can't believe people are watching model railway videos in South Africa. I mean, of course, why not? You know, there's model railway fans all around the world. But still, it's just, it just blows my mind every time. I mean, that's China, India, South Africa, Brazil, even Israel. You know, there's, uh, there's just people that love trains right around the world. I'm going to have to do some sort of world tour. <clears throat> if uh, anybody would like to fund that for me. You know, <coughs> world tour, all the money it needs. <laughs> oh, look, again. You're getting so good, folks. You're covering up your details for me. It's making my job so much easier. Thank you. Dear InCity82, Some people train for races. Some people train for fights. Some people train for matches. I like trains. <laughs> yes, I have seen that. That's a really cool photo that went viral around the internet ages ago. And um, yes, I thought that was funny as well. I just thought I'd let you know that you are single-handedly single responsible for me deciding to switch from modelling American HO to British Double O. Oh my gosh. Not even the likes of Johnny Cash or Roy Cuff were able to sway me back. I bought the Pico Set Track starter set, and then some Streamline Track, and then some Flexi Track, and now my parents don't have anywhere to park the car. Yes! <laughs> awesome. I'm a big fan of your videos. Yours and Trains. Uh, Jared from South Africa. I hope you like the, compl the complimentary sticky notes. <laughs> Jared, that's awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. It really does make my job easier. And you've included a picture of a black five. Good on you. What a man. What a guy. My favourite steam loco ever. Awesome. Well, um, if, I think your address is under there, so I'll send a postcard, a postcard and a badge all the way down to South Africa to you. Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd be jealous of a postcard and a badge. Okay, so here we are with another envelope. This is the one that's got like a billion stamps on it. This must have come from Saturn or Jupiter or something. I, I genuinely have no idea where this has come from. But there's one way to find out, guys. And look again. I mean, honestly, this is amazing. This person has even put the address on like a separately little piece of paper that I have to open up after. That's just so clever. That's really, really cool. Um, okay, so, oh gosh. Uh, is this, oh, this is a drawing. I thought this was an envelope, but no, nope, it is a drawing. Ha, <laughs> no way. It's, this person's drawn a plane. It is the Qatar Airways A350. Look at that. Now, we don't usually have planes on this channel, but, I did used to love planes. In fact, I still do, really. Planes, trains and automobiles. It's not just a classic film with John Candy. It's all of the things I'm into. I love, I literally love planes, trains and automobiles. Not in that order. It seems to change. But, that is really, really cool. And it does look like an A350 as well. That's really, really cool. Um, read this letter. Bro, oh, sorry, read this after the letter. And this is the letter, okay. <laughs> it's like some sort of little puzzle or something. Hey there, well, oh my gosh, 20th of September 2015. Oh my gosh. This letter is literally like 364 days old. Wow. Oh gosh, I am so sorry. But I finally got around to opening it. <laughs> I have, I'm so sorry. Um, hi there, Will. My name is Bernard, and I want to greet you from South Africa. I love your videos, and I watch every video. Oh, what? So, so this is the South... Does this come from South Africa as well? Oh my gosh! Two things from South Africa. Wow! I love your videos, and I watch every video. I like trains, but my hobby is planes and aviation. I sent you a Qatar A350-900XWB, the latest plane released on October 16th, 2014. I didn't colour it in because I wanted to send you it as soon as possible. I am also on YouTube as... Uh, oh gosh, Kulala Guy 445 um, Basically, I'll, I'll check him out and try find his channel and then I'll put a link below. Enjoy the picture I sent you. Best wishes. Um, wow. Okay, so I can open... Yikes. I can open this one now. Um, oh, okay, this... <laughs> 
Uh, trick question. What does XWB and A350 uh, mean? And I'm not allowed to use Google to help. Uh, tricky question time. <laughs> How cool is this? Look, it's like a proper little puzzle and everything. XWB. Uh, extra wide body. Um, I'm pretty sure it stands for extra wide body, Bernard. Uh, and I hopefully have proven to you my knowledge of planes is pretty good. But I am sure that extra wide body is abbreviated to XWB. I could be wrong. I genuinely could be wrong. I often am. I think it stands for extra wide body. Thank you so much for sending that letter and drawing in. I'll add them to the database and uh, I'll open your address in a moment and get a postcard and badge sent over to you. <sighs> Another one to South Africa. Okay, last envelope guys, we made it. We've actually done seven items. How awesome is that? So uh, this should only take a second, I think. It's nothing major, doesn't feel very big, doesn't feel very heavy. Uh, always check, just in case there's any money. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, here we go. Okay, details covered up. Dear Will, IC-82, again. Oh, actually, no, this one's not as old. This is this came in in February. <laughs> so, yeah, just February. Um, my name is Luke Paris. Wow, that sounds posh. I am 13 years old, probably now. Well, no, he could still be 13. Yeah, in fact, he's going to be still 13, I think. No, we don't know. He could be 14 by now. Um, and I'm a train enthusiast. I live in Brighton. Oh, that's a cool place. I've been quite a few times. Where there are sadly no model shops. What? Right, right to the Prime Minister, right now, that is unacceptable. Uh, the last one closed just a few years ago, Model Zone. Oh dear. Um, was it me or did the lights just go brighter? Um, I am currently at the beginning of building a new layout based on London. I don't really have a time. Uh, oh, I think he basically hasn't chosen like a period to set it in. It will include the London Underground using the new Backman S stock, of course, yes. Um, which I got for Christmas. I will also contain, it will also contain national rail lines. Okay, that sounds really cool. Um, I have wrote to you before, so no need for you to send me a postcard and badge. Ah, so that's why Luke Paris rings a bell. <laughs> uh, many thanks, Luke. P.S. I was wondering if you could review the London Underground s stock by Backman one day. Do you know, I, I really do want to, um, but I... I'm not going to buy anything just yet because I think, I think it's over there. Honestly, I think someone has sent it in. I genuinely do think that. I need to double check, but I think somebody has sent the S stock in. I need to check, obviously, because it's worth quite a bit. Um, sorry for the bad handwriting. Luke, that is not bad handwriting. That is way neater than mine. PPPS, do you know any good trains I could use on my layout? Luke. It depends entirely on what period you're setting your layout in and the area. So if it's London, you're probably going to want uh, some third rail stuff, like lots of EMUs. Um, and if it's a, if you're going to set it in like the 50s and 60s, then you can go for all this slam door type stuff, can't you? Or like the proper old rolling stock. Alternatively, you might want to set your layout on London Euston, which is West Coast Main Line. That means you could have... Um, Pendolinos, you could have Class 350 Desiros, you could even have like a Class 90 pulling the Caledonian Sleeper. So what you need to do is decide where you're going to set the layout and what period you're going to set the layout in. And then basically um, the rest will fall into place. So don't worry about it. Um, if you can't read this on camera, I understand, but could you please email me um, above? Ah, Luke! Look, I'll put all of your details into my database and um, hopefully you'll see your letter get read out. And thank you for very much for sending it in. That's really, really sweet, guys. So thank you so much for continuing to send in your stuff. Apologies if yours hasn't been read out yet, but it will. It will get read out, I promise. I have a whole ton of stuff over there waiting to be read out. Right. Uh, I think Craig is going to get dinner on in a second, so... <laughs> I really need to go get this edited, and I'll see you on Wednesday with a workshop video.
train terminates here. Please ensure that you take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. Thank you for traveling with us today. Hey peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.